Hi everybody, hope everyone's doing well. So today we are going to fertilize um, all of the containers here and some of the landscape and maybe some of the roses. And let me show you how we do this. So first we come over here and we pick this little irrigation valve thing. And as you can see, there's this, I'm not gonna touch it because sometimes there's spiders inside, so. All right, so this is the tank that we use. So this is the fertilizer that we use. It's a commercial fertilizer. And as you can see, it looks just like miracle Grow. So this is the fertilizer that I use for all the container, um, all of the, the annuals and things like that. And for all of our locations, except for my home. At home, which I'll show you later, I use a different type of fertilizer for the vegetables. I use only organic and I'll show you what kind of fertilizer that I mix up at home because I also fertilize the garden um, on the same day. So that way everything gets fertilized. I do this once a week and um, yeah, so I'll show you the routine. So we take this and we put it into the tub. So now we have our fertilizer in there and we take this little gadget and stick it right in there. We're missing an attachment, so I gotta find the attachment. Okay, found it. This is the, the attachment that you need. So now this attachment just screws right on here. I forgot my tripod at home, so um, let me just attach this on real fast. So you just screw this on. Okay, so that's how it looks. This is the attachment that we use to um, get the water out of this. So let me show you how we do this. Okay. So stick it right in there. You push down. And, and the water comes out over there. So now I could um, twist it more and get more pressure. So that's what I'm going to do, but I have to use two hands for that. I need to get a little gasket or a new hose because that one's just leaking fiercely. So now I'm just going to go ahead and fill this tank up. guys they're laying bark today today they are laying bark in the interior of the shopping center so I cannot wait to see what it's gonna look like because it's gonna look beautiful um, not that it already doesn't look beautiful but it seems look better okay so we are coming up to the Red Robin and um, checking on these containers now they look pretty good Okay, so they look pretty good. This is that really unique um, flower that I found, and I found it in a red. So you know what, it seems to be really doing well over here, and I think I could pop in that red one, um, and I think it's gonna look really nice. So first we check the soil. This one feels pretty moist, um, but we're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and water anyways, because I think this weekend is going to be pretty warm and um, I don't want any of these beautiful plants to die. So, alright, so we're coming across the street here. Okay, so this container is in front of the Starbucks and yeah, this one's looking pretty good too. Look at those hello bores. Oh my gosh, they're so awesome. And we lock that in place and then we turn on the motor. So then we flip this switch right here. And then we give this rope a good tug. So here we go. I give it a good douse of water. All right, so these containers are in front of the black and white store. And let me tell you, they look amazing. Oh, there's John. 
Hey, sweetie. How's work? Good. All right, so let me show you these containers. Okay, so in this one, we put two petunias, which I did find some black petunias called the Black Mamba, um, but these are looking amazing. And it kind of matches the window with the pink. So I'm gonna leave those, um, those purple petunias in there. But look at this pink hellebore. It's called the Molly Pink or Molly White or something like that, I forgot. I know I said it in one of the videos, but they're both looking amazing. And then there's our guys over there raking away. Um, this is the piazza in the middle of the Palladios. And so the guys are working on adding the bark and I love the bark that they chose. They did a, a really nice bark. Look at that. Oh, that's so nice. Um, it didn't have this before, it was just dirt, but look how beautiful that looks. It's just gonna make the place look like new, so. That's really exciting. I can't wait. So that's going on, but let me go and get the motor started on the pump. We also have um, three, four containers across the way, so I'm gonna water, water those as well, all of them. So these containers over here at the black and white store, I give quite a bit of water. So you have to think the, the hellebores came out of a one gallon container. So you really have to make sure that the water absorbs down get deep into the soil to get that whole root ball so that way this plant will thrive and grow. And same thing with everything else. Even though you have to think that you planted a four quart container, into the soil, so you have to make sure that the water actually really seeps down into that, um, to get into that root ball, so that way these plants will survive. So I give them a really good amount of water, especially since I'm not gonna see them this weekend. Um, you know, I don't want them to be thirsty. Right, so we're almost done with this one. This container is looking fantastic. Look at that. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, those look so beautiful. This container, I feel like gets a lot of shade. And it's kind of moist, but I'm still gonna fertilize. Hey, Alex, how are you? <laughs> so look at these beautiful containers. They're doing so, aren't they doing so lovely? They're doing great, you know, it makes the place look a lot better. Doesn't it? Yeah, it gives it um, a brighter color. Right? Compared to other places, place. right? Yeah, it's Thank beautiful. Thank you. It's beautiful. <laughs> so yeah, these ones look a little dry and we're gonna go ahead. These ones look pretty moist, but I'm just gonna give them a little squirt of fertilizer so they can have a good feeding over the weekend. He does work. Look at him. Hard at work. So what they're doing is they're removing some of the dirt so that way the bark, when the water is, uh, when the sprinklers are on, it doesn't overflow. Isn't that what you're doing, sweetie? What are you doing? Removing the old bark and putting in new bark. And why is that? And we're changing styles of bark. But why do we put bark in? Because it looks better. Yeah. And it retains the moisture. That's yeah. It. And the weed control. Yeah. Right? Weed control. So yeah, that's what these guys are doing. Let me go check out that herd of herd of guys over there. Let's go see what they're doing. Oh look, the train is coming. Look at this the parade. The parade of wheelbarrows. I felt so bad for Nico yesterday. He worked so hard. They had a huge water leak. And yesterday was his anniversary. And he worked, hell say it again. 6 a.m. to 9 p.m. 6, can you believe that? 6 a.m. to 9 p.m. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> so he, um, so yeah, he was late for his anniversary, obviously dinner. She was already asleep. She was already asleep. Poor guy. <laughs> But it's okay, hopefully this weekend, 
this weekend they'll have a better weekend, right? Yep. <laughs> Alright, so these guys, what they're doing is um, Nico's going around, he's pouring the bark to where it needs to be raked into. And then with the, you got these, these crew guys, there's Chad, and then uh, right there, there's Jeremy. And then Daniel's over there in the far corner. Yeah, right. <laughs> I don't think that one. <laughs> so uh, they're raking up the bark into the different areas. And then over here, there's John. Where's John? Hey, John. And so John's over there raking it up too. And then uh, that's pretty much it. So now I gotta go move my truck because John has to get back to work. All right. Look at the parrot's beak. Okay, so this is really disappointing. So I'm over here at this container in front of the Barnes and Noble, and I don't know what's going on with these containers, but someone stole one of our flowers because there's a big hole right here. Um, so they literally just took out a whole flower, so I don't know what was in here. Um, but I noticed another container on the other side that was missing a plant as well. And I don't know what's going on, but I guess these things to be dying over here. Like this ranunculus is dying, and the, 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 the um, container doesn't feel super wet or super dry, so I don't know. But I'm going to go ahead and get out. And, um, but it looks like, so when we first started doing these containers, this area was full sun, had tons of sun, sunshine in this whole area. But they've been so kind and they put some umbrellas over our containers so our containers wouldn't burn. Um, and now they're not getting enough sun. So now I have to find maybe something that will handle the shade that it does get really hot over here. But as you can see, um, the Nemesia is not doing well. Um, some of the alyssum is dying, but this is doing, doing pretty good. So I think probably next week um, we'll come out here and just pop in some new annual, annuals and freshen up some of these containers and of course replace the missing from them. Okay, so that's how these containers look. Now this container is looking pretty nice. This one has the parakeet and the um, osteospermum, the nemesia. And the petunia, and then this is also an imitation in the back. I don't know, I can't do that. And this is a centinella because since it's an outdoor seating area, I thought it'd be appropriate to have a little centinella in there, especially near the fountain. Not like I think I don't think they get mosquitoes, but you never know. Okay, so let me get started on the watering. grill and look at these containers they are amazing so look at this container this is mint we have a petunia an african daisy i forgot what the name of this is um it's like a mum family of the mums right there we have some uh Nemesia and calabacoa which i've been calling this um calabrosias but it's called calabacoa and look at this beautiful ranunculus so all of these containers are doing amazing. The mint's doing amazing. Um, look at this. This little guy is flowering. It's the uh, um, centronella. So cute little flower. The hellebore, look at that. Just growing in such an abundance of flowers. But everything is doing super well out here in this little area. Let me show you these other two containers where it kind of, um, 
it's the entrance into the, the cinema. Look at how these guys are doing. They are just doing so fantastic. So fantastic. Look at that. Just looking so beautiful. So there's two other containers that are going, they're doing really well when I passed by them. And then we have another one across the way. So I gotta water all these, they're pretty dry. Um, but oh my God. So look at this euphorbia. Oh, look at that. Look how beautiful that is. I mean, I had no idea. Look at that, just beautiful. And then um, this one's in front of the chocolate architect and it's looking super nice. I'm really liking this Nemesia. Beautiful. This is just looking so beautiful. The mint, this is a chocolate mint and it's doing awesome. So let's get to water. So over here at this container, this is over by Victoria's Secret, and this container doesn't get a lot of sun. Now the hellebore is doing really good, but it looks like everything else is not doing too hot. Like the listen doesn't seem like it's growing very much. Um, the soil feels nice and moist, but this one's not doing well. This one's, um, uh, what is it called? I forgot what it is. Uh, um, this one's doing really well. So, I don't know. Um, it looks like we're gonna have to get things that are more for shaded, a shaded area for these, so that way it can get nice and full in this area. But that's how it's looking so far. that's big um, the petunias are doing really well I just fertilized so I'm excited to see what's gonna happen once um, you know once the fertilizer kicks in because these beautiful petunias look at that I mean just gorgeous this one has a little stripe oh here we go there's a little stripe in it and then um, just a bunch of different petunias now the um, Argorithium and the African daisies are doing really well. They are going to get bigger in size um, over time, so I can't wait to see what that's going to look like. I'm thinking about maybe coming back later sometime next week and just putting in a bunch of African daisies all along this middle section right here that doesn't really look like it has anything, just so that way you can put a really good pop. Um, some of the snow ladies towards the end kind of died. I don't know why. I don't know if they're not getting enough water or what the problem is. So I'll talk to John about that and find out what's happening with that. But other than that, this this area is looking good. I'm just kind of disappointed in those Icelandic poppies. I thought they were just going to get bigger, like more fuller in space. Um, other than that, not too bad. We're gonna, now that I know, I'm going to put in some more Afghan daisies. All right. So I have, I uh, think, two more sites, two more front lo um, corner locations to do, and then I'm done for the day. Hi, everybody. Okay, so I'm home, and I just wanted to show you what I use at home to fertilize our garden. So these are the three fertilizers that I use. This Fox Farm Grow Big, um, in between the week, during the week, um, like probably on Wednesdays usually, I'll use this Fox Farm a big bloom with the earthworm castings and bat guano. And then the following week, I'll use this one, Tiger Bloom for buds and bloom fertilizer. And this one has um, phosphorus, so it has a good amount of phosphorus in there, which will help 
with the um, photosynthesis. This will help with um, the distribution of sugars and starches and things like that. So, and among, um, I guess, um, along with many other things, this um, big bloom. So yeah, that's what I use. These are all concentrates. So this is what I use to fertilize the vegetable garden. And tomorrow, I will do a little video and show you what happens when you over fertilize. So stay tuned for that because you'll see what happened to all of our seedlings because I got a little bit too excited and over fertilized too early and burnt a lot of them. So stay tuned for that. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, stay safe and I'll see you in the next one. Take care and thank you for watching. Bye-bye.